Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and uh, I recently got an Apple Watch, and the, the main one I like is the Milanese. I made sure to get, you know, a real Apple Watch with the actual Apple band, and then my other favorite one was the Leather Loop, but to me it was a better value to get one that came with this as opposed to this, so I decided instead of spending a ton of money for the real thing, this was only $6 on eBay. I believe the actual product is called Marge Plus Leather, so you could try and search that or maybe scan this with a barcode thing on your phone and see, because I've never heard of, heard of companies like MoCo, and I think there's like a JTEC or JetTech and a few others that seem to have higher rated leather loops. But just for $6, I thought I'd like to try it. I'm not sure what the size is, and if I'd want to get an official Apple one, again, I'd like to, you know, know which one I should get, medium or large, because I think my wrist measures like seven and a quarter inches, which is, I think, around 183 or four millimeters. So that's like the max of medium and the smallest stuff large, so I'm not sure, you know, how well that would, which one I should go with, so I'm just going to try this one. Let me let's get a close up of this before I put it on. You can see it as the actual Apple style connectors. The leather definitely looks nice. It has a very hard and plasticky feel. You can feel the texture on it, and it's I mean it's very soft and flexible. The actual you know articulation, I guess you could say of it, but the leather itself is pretty hard. Of course it has the magnets, have just the there's no plush or anything to it. I've never tried or seen, felt an actual official loop from Apple, so I'm not sure what their leather would like. It's obviously going to be much higher quality than this, but I'm not sure exactly what I'll be missing out on. And you can see the little end here is actually a little bit smaller. I think the Apple one's a little bit different shaped a little bit there. I think it might have a little bit harder of a coating to look a little different. This just looks like the same. But I might not be right on that. So let's go ahead and try it out. So these are basically the only two bands I'm interested in. And now that I have the Milanese, the official one, I just wanted to get the leather loop to try out. And See if I'm in focus there. Definitely goes in, no problem. So far, it looks nice. Most of the people that did these um, reviews on the fake ones don't go too long, so I like to do a longer style video. <laughs> Sorry if get that up. Now that this was something too. A lot of these, I don't know if. They weren't flush. This is. Let's see if I can get that to. It's pretty close. It's not perfect, but. It's really close. Nothing that'll be distracting in any way, so. So there you can see. From this distance, you probably couldn't tell it's not an Apple made one. Not exactly sure how to put this on. Probably should have looped it before I. And I'm, again, there's no size on it, so I don't know if it's considered a medium or a large. I guess I could measure it, find out how long it is, and then get an idea if it would be modeled after the medium or large. That's definitely tight. Okay. That's a little bit tighter than what I'd like. Some of the ones that are too big on people's wrists, they go up to here and that does look tacky. So I guess down here isn't bad, but it'll probably, I'll probably want to loose. Those are some tough magnets.
again, if it was pulled up tighter and I had even more, I would be even tighter on here, but you got to dig at that a little bit. It's Some people said these weren't very strong, and again, I can't compare it to an actual Apple one, but that one feels to be pretty tight, even with just this little portion. I definitely think it looks nice. It, I believe it goes nice with the stainless steel. And then you have this little raised porch because it's how all of them, including the Apple one, work. Again, it just feels a little rubbery, plasticky, but looks wise, I don't see how anyone could tell. And the other thing, other thing, you know, I said some of these weren't flush. This one is. Texture looks good. Feels pretty comfortable. I'm sure I'll, it'll break in and I'll get more used to it. But a lot of people say that these will start to fray over time. This actual edge. And then some of them say that they'll fray. I guess where they're adhered, they're pressed wrapped or whatever around this adapter hopefully this one won't do that but i've actually seen a few of the official apple ones under heavy wear that have done that but i take care of my stuff so hopefully that won't happen to me and if it does again it was only six dollars so i'm really not out anything i would rather even though this is maybe a genuine leather it didn't say i don't really care if i wear it and it gets sweaty because that's how cheap it is i believe most of these run about 15 to 20 dollars I'm sure you can go up higher in price, but I'm not necessarily sure you'll get any better quality. So again, there's the Marge leather loop for the Apple 42 millimeter. You can get it in other sizes. Again, I only paid six dollars for this, but I'm not sure if you can find. You can try searching that brand, but I definitely think it's nice, and I think they're probably all. You know, Chinese knockoffs, they're probably all made the same, maybe even at similar factories or the same one. So I think any of them, I'm impressed with the quality just to have it for now. And if I wanted to get an Apple one in the future, I think it looks nice. Hopefully it'll, you know, feel comfortable, won't have any problems. Goes on nice, and I really like it. So I would recommend if you don't want to spend the big money or you're not sure on the sizing, just get a cheaper one. Probably, again, you can find them anywhere from, I guess, $6 up. So, hopefully that was in-depth enough to give you an idea if you want one of these, what it looks like. And I'll be back with some more videos on the Apple Watch in the future. So, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.